There's this very, very sad story about uh, a pastor in, uh, in Kilifi called Mackenzie Paul. And when Jesus said that we shall know them by their fruit, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. The reality of this issue is just a confirmation that we have wolves in sheepskin. And they come in all shapes and sizes. And they come in all names. And just the way we have spies who go into a foreign country and they steal secrets. We also have spies from the kingdom of the enemy. We have agents of the devil who literally come into the church masquerading as ministers of the gospel. And Mackenzie is one of them. Uyu Sim Chungaji is the powers of darkness into the church of Jesus Christ. Jesus comes to give life and life more abundantly. But this pastor, Uyu Sim Pastor, is in shenanigans. Kimumana. And I want to encourage and challenge us to remember this that as a believer, or as a community, or as a nation, or as a church of Jesus Christ, we have a responsibility to test every spirit because we are reminded by scripture that so many false prophets have gone into the world. First John 4.1, test every spirit. Don't just go to church because they are saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Test the spirit and also watch the fruit. It is your responsibility and prerogative as a believer to find out first of all this Jesus they are calling, is it the Jesus of the Bible? Are they living the truth? The authenticity of someone's confession is by their character. You confess and then we watch your character. Of course, we are not perfect, but God perfects us. Also, by the re renewing of our spirit and our mind through the exposure, through the word, but also working out our, self our salvation with fear and trembling. And so, I want to remind you that si kanisa zote ni za mungu, kuna kanisa za shetani, na this is one of them. And I want to say this, <clears throat> one of the ways to know churches that are not of God, number one, they purport to be the only ones who have the truth. Ao tu, ndiyo God uongea nao. What they say is the absolute truth. It cannot be tested, it cannot be judged, it cannot be refuted. And I want to say this, that's a slippery road. Na wako wengi, wako wengi. Now, if you don't go to their church, they, they are the custodian of truth. It is only them who have access to God. Akuna mtu mingine God haenzaskia through nihao peke yake. And so watch out, because this is not the only one. And there are many even in our, you know, in, our, in, the, in the different towns, people who, they keep saying they want to go and start a new church somewhere. They want to get out of the denomination because they have a different vision. What other vision than knowing Christ and making him known? Because that's the essence. So ni vision gani ingine? And when these people come from these churches, number one, they say, is because they, they, they don't want to be held accountable because absolute power corrupts absolutely. And this Mackenzie issue, you know, proves that point. And so I want to challenge us, even for us believers, before you walk into a church, when was the last time you asked yourself, what is the statement of faith of this church? What does this church believe in? Ushawa ijuuliza, uyu pastor ndi wakuuje kufungwa hii kanisa, nani umuhold accountable? If he fell into sin, na squeezing my pastor warakula kondo ka njugu, who can hold them accountable? Ah, my pastor wanahubiri, E gospel, a seed, eh, na breaking easy macasses. Who holds them accountable? They are an end to themselves. They don't want accountability. That is why they go out there. And because there's no legislation, anyone, any Tom, Dick, and Harry, it's like the days of judges, can go out there and plant a church. Eh? That is why we have these problems. But let me challenge all of us as believers. Before you walk into a church, find out what is their statement of faith. Who's holding this pastor accountable? Alitoka kanisa gani ndi wakuje kuwanza hii kanisa? Na huku alitoka, alitoka aje? Labda alifkuzwa. Because they found out that he's practicing witchcraft. 
Let me tell you something. The devil, shetani watu huku katikati ya watu. Huku tu katikati ya watu. Kumbuka, in the days of Job, shetani yali enabaka heaven. Asa, na wewe umetoka wapi, asa, nilikuwa tu ndirao, nilikuwa tu area. I was just around. And so the devil can go anywhere, even in church. So test every spirit. And every pastor should be held accountable. And be a Berean. Just because they are quoting scripture doesn't mean it's right. Shakespeare said any fool in error can find a verse in scripture to support their folly. We have a responsibility as a body of Christ. Number one, to test every spirit. To confirm if what they are saying is in the Bible. And if someone does not want to be held accountable, jua huyo nifisi in sheepskin. May the Lord have mercy on us. Wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and remember you have a responsibility to your faith. The government can never protect you all the time. Never. The government cannot legislate religion. That I can tell you without fear of contradiction. Kanisa zineza fungua zote leo Na zianze kufunguliwa one by one Na nakuambia hivi Bado shetani ya ndani But when we stand in prayer And cast out this spirit It shall be defeated Because the gates of hell Shall not prevail against the church May the Lord have mercy on us But the responsibility is on us Be a Berean in Jesus name Amen